This is a COVID-19 production electronic bucket. It is made by students from Obwasi sector. So as you have put it inside, the soup comes. So this is the soup, the soupy water. And this is how it is done. So the water comes. This is a student from the Islamic University in Uganda. Has also produced something similar to what this Ghanaian did. All right, guys. So I'm um, once again here to, you know, let, today let me go straight to the point. I'm not going to talk too much. You know, I've been telling you that um, Africa, we are blessed. And if we can make our things well, if we can put things in the right place, the Western world and the other people can compete with us. What is it that we don't have in Africa? We have talent, we have the brain, we have the scientists, we have everything. But I don't know why we keep on like going to them to ask for things. And if you've been following, I just shared a video of a guy who developed something that you can wash your hand. At first, there will be a soap. When you, it's a sensor. When you put your hand there, the soap will come. You wash your hand for 25 seconds. And then what follows next is the water. And it's a it's great initiative. I pray that the government will help him. People will come to his aid. And then he will be able to you know, patent it and then have the right to it so that people might not come for his idea. He's training in Ghana. The government gave him a shout out on, uh, on his speech that he gave yesterday. Fine, you know, he's making waves and uh, making names for himself. He's training all over because the thing he did was so marvelous. I have the video I'll still share with you. But today what I'm here to share with you is um, there is another African who has also done something similar to that. I'm so impressed, Charlie. I'm proud to be an African. I believe Africa, we can take care of ourselves. Yes, without depending on other people. Because we have people who have the brain, we have people who are very knowledgeable, we are smart, we have the talent. This is a student from the Islamic University in Uganda. Has also produced something similar to what this Ghanaian did. But their own is in a smaller size. And I have a video that I would like to share with you guys. According to them, the idea behind this was to find a way to draw water where you can wash your hand without opening and then closing the tap. So they came out with this um, program thing and, and I have the video, let's go and watch. But guys, what do you think about Africa when it comes to innovative, when it comes uh, to creativity and those, those kind of things? What do you think? If, if you have anything like that, let, let me know. In case maybe wherever you find yourself, if there's any initiative or innovative thing that is happening there because of this COVID-19. Guys, I would like you to share with me and let us know what is going on in your area. Thank you so much. Let's go have a watch of this video. And so then I'll see you next time on my channel. My name is Niai aka Ganyomi. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and let the world know that Africa is the best place and we can do it as ourselves. Yes, we can. See you guys. Bye-bye. It is made by students from Obwasi Sector Robotics Club. The main aim of the main aid of designing this bucket is to allow people avoid touching the tap of the bucket. Since the balance can be transferred by touching the bucket when an infected person touches it.